guys, Gerald Davies here, and have you ever wondered how you can smell your own breath? Well, I've wondered that too. Why is it that we can't smell our own breath? There's an opening, a connection in our oral cavity between our mouth and our nose. And our nose generally blocks out background smells and concentrates more on smells that are new to it rather than smells that they constantly smell. So how can we smell our own breath? Here are some techniques that you can use to successfully smell your own breath. Well, the first technique on my list is the hand cupping technique. And it's generally the least effective. It's where you take your hand, cover your mouth, and breathe and try to smell at the same time. Somehow it just doesn't work. And if you can smell your breath by this technique, you probably have very bad breath. Uh, next on my list is the wrist technique. What you do is you lick your wrist. Let it dry for about five seconds. Then smell your wrist. If you smell a bad smell on your wrist, that's probably somewhat what your breath smells like. Here's an interesting one, cheek pulling. What you do is you pull your cheek like this and then start to sniff. Supposedly, this technique <laughs> lets you smell your breath. However, I can't smell anything on my breath when I do this. I don't know, this, this is just not working for me. So what do we got next here? It's the tongue swab method. Like it sounds, you take a cotton swab or possibly a gauze pad, make sure they're clean and there's no like pre-medicated substances on the pad. And then stick it as far as you can into the back of your tongue and, and wipe it. Watch out for that gag reflex. Then you smell it. That way you, uh, that way you get a, uh, a pretty good picture of what the back of your tongue smells like. That's where a lot of the smell accumulates. Next on the list is toothpicks or dental floss. And what you can do with those is pick out food from your teeth and see if they're the cause of the bad smell. You can take a piece of dental floss I would say put it as far back in your rear molars as you can. Put it in there. Pull it out. Mmm. You know what? That's probably a good indicator of bad breath. There's food, there's particles in your mouth that's causing a bad smell and it's trapped between your teeth. Another thing you can use is a toothpick. And then, yep, and you can smell an odor, at least I can. They say a cup of ice, breathe into a cup of ice and you will be able to smell your breath. Let's we'll see if it works. Hmm, I'm just not getting it. I, I just smell clean ice, I don't smell that other smell I smelled before. Believe it or not, another technique that I've heard of is putting a bag over your head. Now, I really don't suggest this, especially to kids, do not put a bag over your head. There we go. Put it over my head. Not very far. And I'm breathing in. I'm breathing out. I'm trying to smell my breath here. Mmm. You know, maybe I can smell it a little bit, but you know what I smell mostly is just the inside of this plastic bag here. So I uh, say this one is pretty busted and it's not worth it. It's not worth putting a plastic bag over your head. So, uh. so one last technique that I have for you guys, use a spoon and take this part of the spoon, the, under, the top side of the spoon, and 
put it as far back in your mouth as you can and then scrape it. Then smell what you've scraped out. You know, I'm not smelling much on this one. I smell a metal smell of the spoon. To me, the spoon is not really working as much as the cotton swab. That's the comprehensive list of the way to smell your own breath. If you guys have another one, let me know down in the comments below. Leave me a video response. And I hope you guys uh, liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. And if you didn't, well, sorry. You, maybe you got stinky breath. I don't know. But anyway, hey, thanks guys. Gerald Davies from Hawaii. Aloha.